Hello. In this video, we will discuss how we can measure the porosity in the lab part 2. The second method used to measure porosity is the gas expansion, which relies on Boyle's law, P1V1 equals P2V2. In this method, we usually use helium as it has low molecular weight and so can easily enter the smallest pore spaces, which will lead to the most accurate results. We use the system shown here, which consists of two chambers separated by a valve, with a pressure sensor connected to the first chamber. Chambers 1 and 2 should be of fixed volumes. To break down the process, we need to understand the following. First, we fill chamber 1 with helium, and then record the pressure, thus we have P1 and V1. Second, if we open the valve to chamber 2, then Boyle's law becomes P1V1 equals P2 times V1 plus V2. Third, if we consider an actual case where we have a rock inside chamber 2, then Boyle's law becomes P1V1 equals P2 times V1 plus V2 minus Vm. In this case, helium will access all the chambers and the pore spaces. The only space helium will not access is the matrix volume, as it's not porous. Using this technique, we will find Vm as V1 and V2 are constants and P1 and P2 will be read from the pressure sensor. After finding Vm and also knowing the bulk volume of the core sample, which is easy to measure, we can calculate the porosity from the following equation. For more information, check out my textbook and booklet on reservoir rock properties along with my lecture notes, all provided in the description box down below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.